This is Eugene Fanrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron 1764 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Dell Inspiron 1764 laptop. Before we do anything, we want to make the laptop safe to work on. In order to do that, we need to remove the battery. In order to do that, you flip the laptop over. There's one lever on the back. You slide the lever, and then you put take the battery off. Slide the battery out without losing any of your tools. Okay, while we're on the bottom, this is where the model number for this laptop is. It's on the bottom, and it says in big letters, Inspron 1764. All right, let's flip the laptop over and get started. For most laptops, um, when you remove the screen bezel, which we have to do to get to the screen, you have to remove some screws around the bezel. But for uh, most of the newer Dell laptops as of early 2012, the screen bezel snaps off. But uh, before we go any further, we're going to show you the tools that we normally use in replacing laptop screen. We have some electronics screwdrivers. First, we have a PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 stands for the size. Then, for smaller screws, we have a smaller PH00 screwdriver. We also have a flat head screwdriver to get to some tough to reach screws at an angle. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that might be stuck or to route any wires that might come loose. And a pair of, and a exacto knife or a hobby knife, and that's to remove any plastic covers that the screws are hiding behind. Uh, for this Dell, we won't need it. In most cases, we do need to remove some plastic or rubber screw covers. Okay, so for this Dell laptop, we can go ahead and just snap the bezel off. And the way you do that is put your fingertips on the screen size and screen side and gently start lifting up the bezel with the fingertips and listen for snapping sounds. And you'll hear snapping sounds. And once you do that, you work your way around the bezel. Some places it might be hard, some it might be easy. So the, where it's hard, you just come back to those. Sometimes it's hard around the corner. So in this case, what you do is you pull out and back. And just keep going around. Same thing on the bottom. like so, and then you take the bezel off with your fingertips. Just take your time on this and don't get frustrated with this as I sometimes tend to do. It will come off. Okay, once you do that, put the screen bezel to the side, and for this type of screen, it's mounted with screws to metal mounting brackets on the sides. So we have to remove the screws from the sides. So let's take a look. Um, typically there's three screws on each side for this laptop. This one is missing the screw on the bottom. But screws on two screws on top are there. So uh, in this case we don't have to do anything else to remove the bezel, but sometimes the screws are hiding behind some pieces of plastic and we need to move, tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly. And if you had to do that, I usually remove these two screws on top, and this tilts the screen up a little bit, and this way I can get to the screws on the side. But in this case, we don't have to do that, so we just go directly to removing the screws, and we use our PH1 screwdriver for this. One, and two. Uh, for each set of screws, I like to keep them in their own separate pile. And uh, this way, once I do the assembly again, I can keep better track of which screws go where. Okay, on this side, there's three screws we remove. 
Uh, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove this screws, screw at the top that's holding your metal mounting bracket. That'll give me some more room to work with. So as you see when I remove it, I can separate the screen a little bit from the screen assembly. And that'll give me a better angle to remove the three screws on the side. So one. And two. and three. When you do this, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit. And the reason being is when you remove all the screws, you don't want the screen just to fall forward on you. Okay, so once the screws are removed, uh, this Dell laptops have a trick with the metal mounting brackets. Actually, I do have to remove this top screw also, and I'll show you why in just a minute. Dell laptops have a trick with their mounting brackets. You, you put, you tilt the bracket out and you see a little post right about there that goes inside the screen. So you have to tilt it out a little bit to free the screen. And once you do that, you can gently lower the screen and we see that it's getting stuck on the webcam cable. And we lift it up, the adhesive up so that we can put the screen down. Okay, um, with this type of screen, it's an LED screen, there's only one connector, and we just need to remove it to free the screen from the laptop. To do this, we lift some adhesive tape up from the back, and there's usually adhesive on the back of the webcam cable, and then we just slide the webcam cable out and the screen is free. Uh, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect the video cable to the screen. And the reason is because this is the part that people have trouble with. So when you slide it back in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks to make sure it's properly engaged. And let's get a close-up. Let's see if we can get a good focus. Okay, let's move the tape back. That will help us. There we go. Okay, pause the video right here. This is what your connection should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connections. It should be flush with each other, and that's what a proper connection looks like. Okay, and let's keep moving. Okay, once we have the screen out, let's take a look at the part number. Let's get a close-up. The part number for this particular screen is B173RW01. B173RW01. That's all you need to know when you order a replacement screen. And the other thing to know is that it's a, the screen has a glossy finish, and most of the screens that you order will have a glossy finish. Now, uh, when you order the screen, you can order the screen from us from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is free email technical support when you install the screen. We also give you a compatibility guarantee. If the screen you ship is not compatible, we'll, sh we'll take it back and ship you the right screen. And finally, we ship all over the world. So if you're not in the United States, you, we can sh most likely ship the laptop screen to you. To order from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com, click Buy a Screen, and then there will be a short form for you to fill out with your email and laptop model, and we'll reply to you with the right screen, screen type so you can order it online. Okay, and when you order the screen, you can also order the toolkit from us. We saw this exact toolkit on our website, and this is all the tools you need to replace a cracked laptop screen. Okay, when you do receive the new screen, you put it back in, just as I showed you. You mount it in the metal mounting brackets, making sure that the posts here go inside the screen. Put the, two, the three screws in on each side. Put the two screws on top. And then just snap on the screen bezel 
and you're done. Uh, this is a very simple laptop to replace the screen yourself, and you sh your laptop should be as good as new as when you're done. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Heinrich Rich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you, and good luck.